From childhood, you had ideas. Maybe you became a fireman or a hairdresser or a dancer or a doctor because you knew how to create your imaginary world without prohibitions, without injunctions, without compression. You just played with your trucks, your dolls, your friends and you knew how to project yourself in total freedom. When you were a child, you fell down and you knew how to get up every time. What drove you to walk was not your will, but the natural movement of life. But your parents, your entourage, started to educate you and you lost what was natural to you. You acquired what is cultural. You learned to be conditioned, to obey, to change what was innate in you by certainties, habits, presuppositions, beliefs. You have equipped yourself with crutches to live in this practical, material and pragmatic world. Later, you went to work at school to learn. You forged a shell to respond to a social image, to parental demands for success. You tried to be the best sometimes even in what you didn't like. But you knew you had to meet imposed standards. Societal rules have the power to take you away from your being. They are indispensable to have reference points in your education. But afterwards, it is necessary to take stock of things, to decide what is good for you or what not. At any age, you can take or resume your life in your own hands and steer your own ship. Don't be afraid of the future in order to commit yourself. You can be grateful for what your parents, your instructors, your entourage, your employers have passed on to you. But you can ask yourself if there is anything more than all this functioning that you have acquired. This way to recognition is to discover what you really aspire to. You must not hide it from yourself, but let it emerge freely from your being. The progress of every human being on earth is based on the five elements that are the responsible and fundamental forces of nature that created the universe, space, air, fire, water, earth. Without these elements, nothing exists. Each element has its own qualities. Earth provides anchorage, solidity, stability, density, strength, endurance, support, growth, but also possessiveness, greed, materiality. Water brings fluidity, liquid, nutrition, love, but also thirst for everything, dissatisfaction, lack. It purifies the earth, cleans it. Fire brings light, sunshine, activity, the ability to receive knowledge, to understand things, to concentrate, but also sometimes agitation, anger, jealousy, frustration. Any transformation takes place with fire. It purifies and evaporates water. Air allows excitement, joy, or sometimes nervousness, insecurity. Without the force of air, it is impossible to breathe. It purifies fire. It brings oxygen. Space has no resistance. It is space that gives freedom, that allows openness. So it is necessary to create space, but it also brings isolation, fear of emptiness, of not being anchored. It purifies the air. Space is considered the energy that favors the meditative state, the state of mind, which would be a state of clarity and transparency. In this way, the human being is a miniature of nature. There is a connection between his body and the universe. You are constantly interacting with the universe in a dynamic way. It's the experience of the whole universe that is transmitted to you. It's just a matter of listening. You don't have to compare yourself to others. You can live your unique life, hear the dynamic music of life, the music that speaks to you. At any moment there is music inside you when the mind is calm. 
There is a combination of 33 billion cells in you. Each cell is the whole universe. Everything is joyful when each cell has the right frequency. Perhaps you have the impression that life has not spared you since you were young, that you are already one or a dent in life, or conversely, that you have lived in a cocoon, that you have not known or do not know how to fly away. Living your life in an unconscious way is sometimes easier as well as letting others make choices for you. But listen carefully. Waiting is dependence. Know that to suffer is to open yourself up, to allow a trench in you that will perhaps revolutionize your way of thinking, of acting, of choosing, of differentiating yourself, of belonging, of being you. And the deeper you plunge into the river of your life, the more you will be aligned with your lucky star, you will connect with your verticality, you will become clear and you will light up around you without contorting yourself to meet the demands of your surroundings. It is by accepting an opening, a crack, cracks, raptures within you, by overcoming your resistances, that you will be able to crack this cultural wall forged of certainties, habits, presuppositions, beliefs. Leave your crutches and accept that each step is the first step. Cultivate your imagination. Don't remain normalized. Try to become out of the norm. To go out of your limits, out of your den. To leave the places of confinement and confinement. You have to find a match between your motivations, your needs, your desires, your pleasures, your desires with your potential and also your personality. Once you have determined this, you will be able to make short term plans in 3 to 6 months, then medium term plans in 1 to 3 years and long-term plans in 5 to 10 years. And then you won't forget a crazy project where with recklessness and audacity, all risks are allowed. Are you in doubt? Yes, it's normal. It's what allows you to move forward, to look for and find solutions. What do you want to do with your life? What experiences do you want to live? Are you looking for security, independence, freedom, autonomy, hierarchy, sedentary life, adventure? You will find the answers in your questioning because only you know the answers. Imagine what you want to experience. Visualize things as you would like them to happen and act as if they already exist in your current life. I visualize myself as I wish to be. I see around me the things I wish to possess. I already have everything I dream of having. I rely on the energy that this gives me to move forward. Your question is not what would be a new path for me in the next few years. The one that I am going to try, experience but it is not necessarily decisive for the rest of your life. You will be free to choose, then to branch off, reorient yourself, follow your innate movement. There are no bad choices. Every experience can be good for you. Trust yourself. You have understood that the different openings of your orientation in your life are found without limit in your heart. Only you have the key to them.
dare. Because to dare is to live.